Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Drew. Today's video, we're just doing a nice little tier list uh, for the Brawlhalla crossovers. I was talking about this in my stream last night with some people. Like, what crossovers we like, what ones we don't like. And I was like, I sh maybe I'll just make a tier list <laughs> to show what I think. But, yeah, if you... If you see, we have all the crossovers here except the newest Walking Dead ones, which I'll just manually say where where I think they'll be since they're not on this tier list. This tier list is made by this person, I think. So credit to them for making that. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and sub and check out the description for my Discord and my Twitch. But yeah, let's, let's get going with this tier list. So I think I'm going to go like group them up here. So... We're going to start with like the Shovel Knight crossovers. We'll just start going here. The first one, I, you know what? Maybe I'll just do it from here. I'll just do it in order from the top instead of what I said. I think Heat Blast, very solid. Look how, I think it looks really cool. The sound effects are nice. Got the blasters and the blasters skin like it's just fire. It's crazy. I like that. Um, all right. We got Xavier Woods. Pretty good. I'm going to, mm, I'll go A. I'll go A. He's also pretty solid. Uh, the sound effects are cool. He's got the trumpet sword. Pretty interesting. And then he's got the pancakes, which is always great. Barbara. Uh, I mean, she's okay. I'm not a big fan of the look of the skin. The sound effects and the animation on the sigs are pretty cool, though. So I'll give you that. Uh, Diamond Head. I think he's... We'll do it in order. So highest B is higher than... So this is higher than Barbara. This Diamond Head. I'll put him there. Another pretty cool crossover. It's kind of hard to see the sig sometimes when you're playing against them. It's very quiet, so it's actually like you get an advantage for playing this. <clears throat> Plague Knight, definitely S tier. One of my favorite crossovers in the game. Super cool. Another Caspian crossover, just like Diamond Head. But this one I 100% think is better. Um, next is Globlox. We'll put him A, like right here. Another interesting one. He's different. Uh, they are di they. The sound effects are cool. The look of the skin is really funny. I like it. So that's going to go mid A. Alright. We're going to... Hmm. I'm trying to think of where I should put this. We're going to go right here. This is the... We have the crossover... The cross crossover. <laughs> um, and... Hellboy, I think he's pretty good. We're going to... I don't really see him too often. He's not played by many people. So I'm just going to put him at the bottom of A. Um, Lara Crofts, the two variations, I like, we'll do this one, and then we'll put this one here. I think it's a pretty good crossover. It's for Diana, I don't like Diana, but I think this crossover is pretty good. It's just tilting to get hit by the stakes after you know, <laughs> like the sound effects of them, you're like, ouch, that end stick hurt. Um, so I think this, I don't know the names of these, like the specific names, but this one I like better. Um... Okay, Nimue. We're, we're going to put Nimue, like, mid-B. Nimue's okay. I mean, I don't really see her because people don't play Dusk. But her Sig animations are cool. They're, like, dark red, which is, like, my favorite color. So I like that. Um, the orb skin's pretty cool as well. It's, like, a, some sort of uh, gem. Oops, I don't know if I moved that accident. All right, Enchantress. This one's also pretty good. Enchantress is pretty good. Um, Fate's Super Solid Legend. Enchantress is a pretty good skin as well. And the SIG effects are pretty good. The sound effects, I like them too, so we'll put you in mid-A. Okay, Becky Lynch, I think, is pretty bad. I don't like that skin. Uh, I don't like... The WWE ones aren't my favorite. I don't really like anything about this one, to be honest. I'm just gonna put it in C. Not my favorite. Shovel Knight is the better crossover for Nash. Put you, like, right there. Shovel Knight's definitely better. Um, the look of the skin's cooler, and the animations on the SIG I like better as well. Like, the diamonds that come out from the Hammer D SIG, that's cool. Um, John Cena. John Cena's pretty good. I like the Fire Hydrant in the, in the Ladder Spear, that's really cool. Um, the skin itself's alright. SIG animations, actually, I'm gonna move this up to here. I like, I think he's got that Spear Down SIG where the You Can't See Me. I like that a lot, so we're going, like, high B. Finn, really solid. We'll put him right here. Good SIG animations, they're a little bit, not too much going on, but they're still cool. And then we got, you know, the classic Finn from Adventure Time, so I don't know how you can uh, not like that one. It's pretty good. Um, Pearl, go like right here. Pearl's pretty good, good SIG animations. Um, from Steven Universe, it's the Kaya crossover, and this is 
Jala, I haven't been mentioning, but Jala, Kaya. Um, her sigs are cool. Uh, they, they got good animation and good sound, so we're going to keep her like right here. Okay, four arms. Eh, not a big fan, it's okay. He's kind of weird looking with his two arms that just stick up like that. I don't know. It, they're, it's, it's okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, okay. I do like the fire hydrant, though. So some of these, he does have good sig animations, like the anchor and the fire hydrant, so I like that. Jake, we'll move him up here, actually. And then Jake, also really good. We're going to put him, like, right here. Um, he just looks like a little, like, peanut walking around. It's just so funny how small he is. I really like this crossover. And the sigs are just really funny and weird, so that must what, that's what makes them cool. So you go there. Princess Bubblegum's really good as well. I'll put you up here. I don't like playing it there, but the, I really like the sounds. And Princess Bubblegum looks just really funny, so I like that for sure. Okay, Damio, don't like at all. I think it's one of the worst in the game. Not a fan. Just play Fender Mordex, and if you don't have that skin, just play Default Mordex or something. I don't like this at all. Spectre Knight, S tier, super good. One of the best. I don't play Nyx, but I think this is such a good skin. And the animations are amazing, so definitely up top. Black Knight, I have this one. We're going to put you, like, right here. Pretty good. They're pretty, like... Nothing too special with the SIG animations, it's just like a recoloring, and the sounds aren't different, I don't think, so it's not too different from the original, but it's still cool in my opinion. Um, okay, next we got Asuka, I think it's pronunciation, Asuka, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but this one's pretty good for Queen Eye, put you right here in B. Um, the SIG animations look cool, it's like rainbowy, I like that, and the skin looks pretty good itself, so that's pretty solid. Here we got The Rock, kind of like a cutoff picture of him, but mm, it's okay. It's for Sentinel. It's nothing too special, but it's okay. Sig animations are like a reddish color, so I like that. Now we got King Knight, also pretty good. It's for Sir Roland. You don't see it very often, though. Uh, I like the sword skin and the, lan the lance and sword skin are both really good, and the sigs are okay. So we're going to go like mid B, high B, I guess. Um, Gruagok. I like Grugok. This is the better. We're we're gonna put do Roman Reigns as well. Put you down like right here. So this they're both Taros crossovers. Um and Grugok I think is the better one, but it just looks cooler and the six animations are. I mean they're I don't think there's much difference from the actual Taros, but I think the look of the skin's cooler in general. Here we got the Undertaker, definitely high A, really good. Um, we're gonna put you high up there. And, yeah, that's a really good one. Good SIG animations. It looks really cool in general. Okay, so next we got the Olgrim crossover, Macho Man. Um, this is a really good crossover. This is Koslix's, this is what Koslix likes to play um, instead of Macho Man. He's got, he's got good SIG animations. He's got good uh, weapon skins with him, like, flexing. So that's super solid. Stevani... Not a big fan, and I don't know. Kind of looks, it's okay. I I'm not a huge fan of it though. It just kind of looks strange. The skin itself, I'm not a big fan of. Um, the a animations of the sigs are okay. They're all right. Um, so that's gonna be the top of C. So not the worst, but not very good. And we're gonna get amethyst. Pretty good. Um, the skin itself definitely not my favorite, but the weapon skins are my favorite in the whole game. So that's definitely a plus. Um. They are, yeah, they're my favorite weapon skins. I use the axe skin on every legend that I play with axe. Always the axe. And the cannon skin is also really, really good. So if it were just for the skin, it'd be like down here. But I'm actually going to put like low A for the, the weapon skins just in itself. So that's Oh, yeah. Also, guys, real quick. I forgot about the uh, new um, Walking Dead crossovers. Um, there's, there's Rick, Michonne, and uh, Daryl. Rick is probably in C, C, C tier. Wow, I don't know what I'm saying. C tier, low, like down here somewhere. Not very good. Honestly, not a fan. Uh, Michonne is probably B tier. Pretty good. Um, Sig effects are cool. I like that skin. And then, uh, what was the other one? Daryl. Daryl's probably low B tier. Okay. Not, they're not too great. Not the coolest crossover, but they're, you know, they're okay. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, that's going to be it for the tier list. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you uh, agree with some things, disagree, let me know in the comments. And yeah, it's going to be it. Please be sure to like and sub if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.